Okay, here's another in our series of Chains of Reasoning videos. Uh, we take a question, this time interest rates in investment, and develop a logical chain of reasoning to help you improve exam marks. Analyse how a rise in interest rates might affect total planned business investment. Well, the UK indeed was one of the first of the major central banks to raise interest rates to start tightening monetary policy in December 2021. And UK interest rates at the time of recording have risen from a low of 0.25% all the way up to 3%. This is of November 2022, with the latest increase being 0.75%. So how might higher interest rates affect business investment? Well, start with a definition. Make the examiner clear that you know what investment is. Investment is uh, spending by businesses on capital, capital inputs such as hardware, software, new plant and equipment, new factories and things. That's hard capital investment. A rise in interest rates indicates a tightening of monetary policy. And one effect is likely to be not only will or must, but likely to be a fall in planned capital spending by businesses. And this is because loans to finance investment projects are likely to become more expensive. So if you're a small firm running, for example, a garden centre looking to invest in a new facility, that loan could well cost you more and it's obviously going to affect your decision. This will then lead to, nice connective phrase, this will then lead to a fall in the expected real rate of return on capital. In other words, the expected profit adjusted for inflation because capital is costing more, money is costing more to borrow. And some businesses may decide, therefore, to postpone or cancel projects. The negative effect on investment will be amplified or made, made bigger if higher interest rates also cause a fall in consumer demand for goods and services. So that, uh, we sometimes call this the negative accelerator effect. This fall in demand will then lead to an increase in spare capacity, less need to invest, and is also likely to cause a, a deterioration or a worsening of business confidence. So this is a nice connective chain of reasoning explaining how higher interest rates might well lead to a fall in business investment. If the question asks you to evaluate, challenge and question. The effect on investment of higher interest rates depends on whether the commercial banks, Barclays, NatWest and so on, and other lenders uh, decide to pass on those higher interest rates set by the central bank into increased market rates on loans and overdrafts. If they do, then small businesses in particular are likely to be hit as a result because they typically, they typically charge more for a business loan or an overdraft because of the risk. Second point, interest rates are only one factor among many affecting the investment decision. A business might be uh, profitable, have plenty of money to fund capital spending without having to, to borrow money, for example. Although there is still an opportunity cost of, of using retained profits. And oftentimes in the sector and in industry, technology is changing. It could be very rapid, new emergence of new technologies, which means that independent of interest rates, businesses are having to replace capital perhaps more frequently to keep up with competition. And it might also be the case that the prices of new capital might have come down. The cost of installing machinery or hardware or software uh, may have fallen, making investment more affordable. So there are some little evaluation perspectives you might want to use on this question about interest rates and planned investment. Hopefully it was useful. Please press like and subscribe. Stay happy, stay positive. See you sometime soon.